For years, fans like these have been shouting, dancing, even performing to try to spur on their country to footballing glory. But they are still waiting. The majority of Tanzanians alive today have not seen their team play in a major international tournament. It has at times been a long and frustrating wait. But the next few years might provide the best opportunity in decades. The Africa Cup of Nations has expanded to include 24 teams. And in the qualification stage, Tanzania is up against teams like Lesotho and Cape Verde. One top flight club coach says it's now or never. It's a good opportunity. I always say that football has no owner. You see, even when we went to South Africa as guests, we played well. So players have to learn from that. We just need to keep learning and growing and might even play in the World Cup. There are challenges, though. The Tanzanian Football Federation president is facing charges of money laundering, and the country's sport council is in disarray. But a new spotlight is also bringing change. Top flight English Premier League team Sunderland has opened an academy in Dar es Salaam. And Everton has just completed the first EPL visit, bringing Wayne Rooney along with them. So the fans now want more. I'm a fan of Taifa Stars, and I'm telling you that the club leaders and football management have to do more to support the team. The national team management is trying but the government must now step in and do more. Listen, we Tanzanians love sport, especially football, but our leaders are not careful and considered enough in developing the game. They are more focused on their own interests and should do more to prepare the team. And they're not looking hard enough at youth talent. You don't need to walk far in Tanzania to see the country's obsession for the game but now the country needs to mobilise its talent and reform its football. And then it might really give fans like these something to shout about. Dan Ashby, CGTN, in Tanzania.